Let me decide when to chill out. Go! How are things going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA Ballad of Gay Tony mission walkthrough. This is the final Ray Bulgarian mission, and it is a doozy. It is called In the Crosshairs, and if you're thinking it's a sniper mission, oh yeah, but. It is a doozy of a mission, and I will get into it once I start the mission and explain because it's very easy to end up um, dead. Let's just say you better arm up, arm up, and max out all of your weapons ammo. So let's get on with In the Crosshairs. Ah, Mr. Lewis. Hey, where's the one-man Ben? He's working. Oh, okay. Ray! Hey, Ray! Have company! Shut up! Don't tell me to shut up! So, I've heard from some people, I know, that maybe you have some diamonds for sale. Not me, my boss, Tony. <laughs> my other boss. Yeah, yeah. You got them from the fat cook. Ray! Huh? I'll stay as long as I like. You think you're a big man? Where's your house on Middle Park East? Where's your big sports team, huh? Shut up, you can't! Ah! Shut, Shut up, you fucking can't! Hey, man, is she okay? A big gun next to a big man, huh? Your thingy was tiny even before the wrestling coach make you take steroids. Mother always said she only had daughter. Ignore her, Luis. The diamonds. Tell me. I, I gotta talk to Tony. <sighs> you gotta talk to Daddy. I thought I was making you a real man, not a rand boy. Well, I can't sell what ain't mine, bro. And plus, with all the work I put in for you, I don't really feel like a man yet. Okay. Son, man, son. I want you to cover your moves back. He's going to talk to some people. I need you there. Okay, man, I got it. But you should chill out, bro. Let me decide when to chill out. Go! Okay, Ray is pretty pissed at his sister, and he's pissed about a lot of things. And now you're supposed to help Teemer, and you got to go to some building and possibly do some sniping to help him out. But that's not always how things work out. I will fast forward to the mission, because the drive is kind of long. Interesting that the building is in Little Italy. Let's get on with the mission. Hey. Yeah, what's up? I'm here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. You're in position. Do you see a box in front of you? Yeah. Open. Have you opened it yet? No, give me a sec. No. Okay, I'm here. Do you recognize this man? Shit! I believe you parted with him in a diamond deal. Yo, what the fuck? Is this the guy we bought the ice from? You colluded with him to steal from me. Yo, we just got some rocks off him, okay? Look, listen. No, you listen. I offered you an opportunity, yet you were plotting against me. Yo, I know shit about those rocks. But I believe it doesn't matter. I will do everything in my considerable power to drive you and your faggot master from this earth. Goodbye. Oh, shit! Fucking great! Well, this is obviously a setup. Now, the snipers reveal themselves in the lower left circle when they fire. And pay attention, up oh, drama here, yeah, they die a little bloody, a few of them. 
And when they pop up and fire, you can see their location. Try and get the sniper scope lined up with the red dot and scan around until you see the sniper. And there is one. Get the point on them and fire. And this one dies dramatically. I'm going to let things play out until the next big event. Thank you, Lopez. If I get out of this, you are mine. This ain't my time to die, motherfuckers. Ray, you asshole! Colin, you're so stupid! I might just deserve this shit! I never should've worked with that guy. It's locked! Perfect. By now, Luis realizes it's a trap and he is dead. They're bringing in helicopters and armies of bad guys to kill Luis. And one of the first things you need to worry about is the helicopter. The bad guys are going to come streaming up and on the opposite end of a building from Luis. Worry about the helicopter first. It would be nice to have a rocket-propelled grenade, but the automatic shotgun will serve quite well. Just get the point onto the helicopter and fire away. Uh, with the helicopter gone, stay low and keep cover behind the wall. And switch to the carbine or the submachine gun to take these guys down. There's some guy throwing grenades. So, yeah, it gets a little tricky. Good thing he is not very good at throwing those grenades. Again, just keep fighting and try and kill the guy with the grenades. Uh, later on, there's a guy with a rocket launcher. Just keep behind this wall. And when you have a safe feeling, you can move forward. Yeah, that guy didn't die. What the hell? Um, yeah. Uh, just keep firefighting and move carefully and slowly. <laughs> Okay, another sniper to deal with. He's way up here on that rooftop. And again, use the low walls for cover. And hopefully you can take this guy down. Uh, and yep, there. Yeah, it's kind of hard. But a couple of hits there and finally he's down. And now scan the area for bad guys. If you cannot see any. Um, you're going to have to jump over this low wall, flip to the carbine. Um, I'm going to move a little bit, no signs of fire, so jump over and do not, I repeat, do not put yourself in line of fire. Use the building as cover, get low, and stay observant. 
Plenty of ways to die yet. This is where the guy with the rocket launcher comes into play. He is kind of, you got to take these guys down because they're the ones that are the more serious threat to you. The guy with the rocket launcher, he, yep, he is uh, on the rooftop across the street. And you can kind of see him a little bit. And you can't really hit him with carbine. There he is. You're going to have to go with the sniper rifle to take him down. All is quiet, but it doesn't mean Luis is out of danger yet. Kind of stay low, look around. There are still plenty of bad guys who want to take down Luis, and they're staggered on the rooftops here across the street. So, again, use the wall as cover, climb over, and immediately drop down and scan the area. I can tell you right now, there's guys right over here, and you can see them plain as day. Use the carbine to take them out. You straight joking. Behind it. I have in nice to view. see you. He's an ugly fuck. We have you surrounded. You will die soon. Yeah. He approaches. Pain for you. Okay, that one guy on the opposite roof is down, and the bell, if you heard a church bell tolling in the background, yeah, there is one. Now this guy, and he's going to be, yeah, you can try and strafe and take him down. You finally get him down. Now this guy behind the low wall, or the high wall there, that keeps popping his head up, uh, yeah, he's not going to be taken down with the carbine. So you might as well switch to the sniper rifle and take him down very, very carefully. I tried tossing a grenade, not enough distance. So it's going to have to be the sniper rifle. I'm position. Come on! If I kill, I get to keep fighting. With that guy dead, there's obviously still some other bad guys around. Move slowly and carefully. Using the low walls for cover, there you see that one guy right there. And then there's still guys on the street shooting at Luis. So, best way to take the one guy down who is by the chimney, move over to this area and get a clear shot Luis is going to have to stand up so make it quick you shoot him drop back down now you can take care of the guys on the street you see our objective there no do not run to that arrow use the roofs as your friend you got to take everyone on the street down so let's get into position, drop down, roll, and stay as far away, and don't make yourself a target. Move over here. Uh, you won't get clear shots. Um, nah, not even with the shotgun. So let's step back and jump over to this rooftop here. And again, get low. And use anything as cover. 
the chimneys, whatever, you're not going to get real clear shots. In fact, I would probably say grenades are a good thing. So toss a couple of grenades and let's see what happens here. Flip to the sniper rifle. I think I can get a headshot here and take this guy down almost. Pops up again. He's gone. Now, the final guy is a little more difficult. So it's better if Luis stands up and chucks a grenade because he's not going to get that guy without the help of a hand grenade. Use the chimney as cover and then toss the grenade. Luis is still not in the clear. Um, there are some other guys on the street. You do not, like this guy, you do not want to go down those steps. You see those SUVs there? Yeah. Those you want to take out, and you're still getting shot up a little bit. So use this as cover. Try and figure out where the other guys are. Um... Switch to the auto shotgun, and you can get that SUV right there. You can pinpoint it now. Flip to the auto shotgun and shoot it and let it blow up. Later, the okay, all is quiet. Flip to the uh, carbine rifle, and now you can bring Luis down very carefully. Shoot. Uh, there is no response. So I think it's time for Luis to make a hasty getaway. Uh, no one's shooting at him. Time to run. You got to go down the fire escape and leave the area. No one is shooting. Luis is safe. Just jump over the next fire escape down and roll and run. I'm surprised there's no cops. Flip to where you can run and, yeah, just run out of the area. And try and get as far away as possible. The... Game will let you know when you have succeeded, and so far, nothing's happening. And it's a long run. What the hell is going on here? Ah, uh, well, maybe if I find a car somewhere? Now there's no cars around. What the hell? This is not good. Uh, the way I'm going to just, yeah, this is bad. A lot of running, a lot of running here. Uh, there's a car. I think I'll steal it and maybe get the hell out of here and see what happens when it's going to back it up. And here we go. Jump in, hotwire it, hit reverse, and try and spin around. And oh, here we are. Auto save. Whoopee. Um. 60%? Yeah. That is not good, but who cares? Four shots, four snipers? No. Uh, let's get out of here, and Tony will call as soon as Luis gets on the road. Luis, shit! I've been looking for you! Listen, Tony, I got something to talk to you about. Remember that Ray Bulgarian guy? That Russian gangster? You think he'd lend us the money we need to get out of this shit? He's bad news. 
I hate to be the voice of reason here, but I don't think we need that kind of strength in our lives. Oh, yeah, man. We already got it. I talked to him about some opportunities. It turns out the diamonds we bought were stolen off him in the first place. He cut that cook's head off, man. Long story short, he wants us dead. Poor old chef. What were you doing talking to these guys without me, Lou? Sorry, man. I fucked up. Kind of refreshing, though, for me to be the one getting us in shit, Louis. Don't you think? Yeah, a real relief. Now, on the drive home, Luis gets a call from the Russian dude, and it's not a very nice phone call. So I'm going to just um, cut to that instead of fast-forwarding. Listen, man, I told you, I didn't know shit about who owned them diamonds. Then maybe you should have asked. Instead, you ran around the city making a fool of me. You and your faggot boss will be killed for this. I will do everything in my power shit. to... Shit, I think the scene was dropping, man. Later, bro. Now things are starting to get hectic, and you can kind of guess what's going to happen next. I will be posting the next video, which should be no surprise unless I do something different. But if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I am doing my best to post uh, four times a week. So far, I've been doing that. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by. May I see your ID, please? Concealed weapon. Okay, you're coming with me. Come on, people, no rubbernecking. Okay, don't be a sicko. There's nothing to see. Suspect is proceeding on foot.